everyone. I'm so happy to be with you today. It's a beautiful day in New York and our favorite season is coming up. Yes, I love the holidays. We're going to have Thanksgiving soon. And as you see, we are cooking a turkey. Yes, <laughs> turkey, first piece of Thanksgiving, we all know back, I think it's 1621, it started with the first Thanksgiving and they have the turkey. All around the world, we celebrate with turkey. And I think in December also, we cook um, turkey. Like um, New Year's, we have turkey in the Caribbean also because it's a good day to reunite all the family together. Usually in the Caribbean is December 25, 25th, and January 1st that we have the whole turkey like you have it, guys, in the U.S. for Thanksgiving. And even in France also, I think um, in December, they cook the wolf turkey. So I think this is a very, um, sometimes people are intimidated to cook turkey, but it's really easy when you take the right steps. I'm going to show you, some, I'm going to share with you several tips how to cook the turkey. Usually, um, the first thing they talk about when you cook poultry is about cross-contamination. You will see there's always a strong debate with my Caribbean people when on the website they say, do not wash your poultry. I know. It's a big it's a big, I think if I put that now, I will have like a thousand comments on it. But in the Caribbean, yes, we wash, we clean our meat. But you have to know also, when you see that turkey like that, he has feathers before. There was blood inside. So they obviously had a preference of that. But what I did first, because today we're using a dry brine. I'm going to explain to you also when, what we intend by brine. When on the website, they tell you, do not wash the turkey. Like I told you, it got already pre-washed because you don't have all the blood and, and it's, it is still in it. The dry brine consists of orange peel, water, any type of seasoning you want. Some people put vinegar, also apple cider vinegar. They boil it, they let it cool. For a turkey like the one I have, we've seen like 14 to 16 pounds you will need at least two gallons of something of liquid to put the turkey in it and put it in the refrigerator for at least two days. This is the wet brine. But what happens also, some people, our depends on, on our house and it's the holidays, it's not only the turkey you are cooking, so there's not much space in the fridge. So that's why, Sometimes they don't recommend to do the wet brine because you have to take, you have to, supposed to have a big container, not something like that, but something way bigger that could have two gallons of the stock or the brine liquid and you immerge the turkey in it. That gives you, I think it's one of the best way to cook because all the salt um, is inside the turkey and it keeps the meat really moist. But the recipe we're going to use is good too. It's very good. And it's a really dry brine. So what I did first, um, I rinse my turkey inside and out with a lime, the lime, and sour orange juice. Sour orange juice, you will find it in any um, grocery stores. It's oranges, but it's not the oranges that you can eat right away or we make juice. Some people make juice with it anyway, but it's more sour. It has a lot of acid in it. And it's very good when we clean our goat, um, our meat. Oh, someone is here. Kisha is here. When we clean our goat, we use um, the sour oranges and the lime one. So what I did first, I did... Clean it, rinse it under the in the sack. In my container. Yeah, she helped with that. <laughs> and 
with sour oranges and lime. So when you're done doing that, the next step is to really dry the skin of your turkey. You want that crisp and no yes. moisture. No moisture because no moisture. what it creates, um, the water will create steam and we want a nice skin on our turkey. Can you take the other container from me? Okay. I just watch you struggle. It's very heavy. It's a big bird. Yeah. I was like, I'm never going to let you do that. And what we're going to use for our dry brine, we're going to make some apis, some pepper, because I say it's Caribbean flavor. So we're going to put some real flavors in that. So we can help oh, him. Yes, we're going to use this we're going to use um, parsley. And you see, I'm not removing uh, the stems because I really um they have a lot of tons of, of flavors also. And this is a low waste kitchen, so that's what we do. Unless I'm cooking tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, I'm going to use let me use that board. I'm going to put some shallots in it, just drop shop so the food processor will do the rest. And me and my mom were having this conversation as like when we used to cook in Haiti and I was cooking proper shallots. And there were like only two shallots, and like the shallots in here are like minuscule compared to here. So we are always confused as to like, why are you using two shallots? And in Haiti, are like, oh, these are like onions. <laughs> Yeah, and we're going to use um, today. I don't have any more brand, brand food, so we have to buy that. So I'm yeah, going to use the rolls. Up, yes, and this is really for that big bird. We're using two whole um, head of garlic. Oh my God, we have garlic. Yes, I'm just saying garlic. Good. I'm um, going to use um, salt. Remember, we need salt, and it's really three tablespoons of salt. I wonder if you're doing on like a different oh, not a bird, like how can you control the salt to bird? Um, basically, um, we can say because when you add salt mm -hmm. and it's not going to boil, so you won't lose that salt. For one pound, I would say uh, a quarter to uh, like a spoon, like two teaspoon or one teaspoon. Really, for that, I wouldn't put much because it's easier to put more, but to remove the salt. We have, um, and now I'm putting some onion powder. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Stop spying! <laughs> Which is also been a pepper. struggle living here. Like you never find good peppers. Like you've never been. Like, okay. Oh, here we do. You can, like, you can stop now. now. Yeah, because I'm just going to cut um, all the juice of my orange juice in it. So. Can you tell this is new and I don't know how to operate it yet? <laughs> and this is like a traditional apis. Yes, this is the way uh, I see several recipes really on that um, of apis that people put um, bell peppers and a lot of other stuff. How do you say this one? Um, Water press. <laughs> no, because you know, um, that authentic recipe from the slave, they didn't have a lot, but they knew they knew how to infuse flavors. And have to extract it out of exactly. And we have the shallots, it's really from the French, we have the cloves from the oh yes. And then we're going to marinate that. I'm going to use some thyme that I'm going to put inside uh, the bird also and some onions that we cut in. Yes, it's very. Okay, and now when we're going to marinate, um, 
that turkey you can do that like two days in advance delicately i'm wearing gloves you're going to insert um, your fingers under the skin and put some of that spices in the skin. That will help also um, your turkey stay moist. And I assure you, even in the tides, my, I will go against the tides and put any spices in the cavity as well. So let me have some. No, just put it here. Okay. I have to remove it completely. Move right. the ahead for me, so you can leave it to me like that. So that will be better because if you have more, we can save it. But if I already put my hand in it, so give me some. Oh. Yeah. That's that's what we're talking about: cross contamination. We don't. Yes. We don't, we don't do want that. that. You don't, don't want that. that. So basically, you're giving your bird a massage. Oh, yeah. A little turkey spa day. And uh, I encourage you do not put uh, spices on the skin because the spices will cook first. And exactly. You will have spots on that turkey. But we're going to put something on it also because we use um, the right amount of salt. We're going to put some a melted butter. You can, you can start doing that for me, the, the one stick, on, one stick of butter only, and put some organic field seasoning in it, one teaspoon. So that will be really good. Yes, the, the first, yes. Put it on high, so we don't do it. Yes. Going to use my Sour oranges and lime combination in it, and I will do it. Going to change my gloves so I need more spices. Um, is this three nuggets? Yes, um, just put one um, tablespoon in it. What's your say? Spices. Yeah. Going to change my gloves and take more of the spices that Kisha just makes. And if you are, um, if you don't have a big household, and if you don't want to cook turkey, also you can um, buy a chicken for um, at least four pounds and cook it the same way, and that will be perfect. Or a guinea hen. I quite love those. Everybody gets their own. They personal chicken. So cute. Um, okay. Cornishan, you mean? Yeah. Cornishan. Guinea hen. Yeah, it's what? like guinea hen is fed up. Oh, they don't have any meat in them. <laughs> and they're very hard, I suppose, to like to. Like, yeah, I don't understand why I love that. Like, it's so they much sure. trouble to get like so little meat. They're very good. So I'm going to put the onions inside. So basically, you're going to get very intimate with this bird. Okay? <laughs> you're going to be on first name basis, <laughs> know his life story. It's going to be a process. Really it's, and now it's forging relationships. The time that will infuse so much flavor. And also the time that, that you put it into the tree. But if you want to go, even if you are two people, so try to find a bird eight to 10 pounds and you will um, save the rest, do some turkey sandwiches, some soups. And so let's say you don't have a lot of people at your house and not cook that turkey. In Thanksgiving, yes, please do exactly. love this Thanksgiving. Exactly. And we're gonna be eating turkey for the next. I don't know. I don't know for you, but I call some people and they will take it. So you're giving away my turkey after all the love and time I put into it. Oh yeah, so we are. We're going to base really wash our turkey with that melted butter and organic creole seasoning. This is where all the dip and paint experience comes from. You take all that knowledge if you have and just please. Make sure you get everywhere because where there is but what there you is can do paper. also I put all of it but what you can do also is save some of it and base um, during the first hour of cooking and then in the next 45 minutes because uh, a turkey of that amount, of that weight, um, you will cook for at least um, three hours. 
going to do another recipe also today. But before we do that, I'm okay. going to talk to you about labape. Mm -hmm. It's a nut that we have in the Caribbean that you can find sometimes fresh in the States or in Ken. And it's, a, it's very good um, as a side for that um, turkey. Yes, you can try it. Everything. Yes. <laughs> well, you have to infuse a lot of flavors in it. Um, to eat it but, well, I think in times of um, when you like some of the first chicken, and if, if you go camping, I think it's one of the best things to have. That's another thing I don't understand. Camping, why would you do that either? <laughs> Okay, what we're going to do also is do a French recipe. Thanksgiving was around, like I said, 1621, but that famous dessert was there also like 70 years after that gives you, yes, 1691, that in 1691, they invented the creme brulee or what we call Creme brulee Creme is basically a custard. Something <laughs> about eggs. We're going to do it. Um, that turkey. I have to use other blouses also. It's, we're going to use eggs, milk, evaporated milk. Um, when as it's best to use really evaporated milk instead of regular milk. Because the difference between the two won't make um, is they cook again, the, they pasteurize more the evaporated milk. So it reduces and is thicker than whole milk. It's very thick. Yes. So we're going to use, we're going to use it here, or oh, it's not on. We're going to do a caramel, what we call um, is basically melted sugar, not the caramel that you find in the candy section. The caramel that you find in the candy section of your favorite candy store is made with the same thing we're going to do, melted um, sugar, but they had cream and better in it. So that's the caramel sauce you love so much and you get to enjoy. And that she finds me making up in the morning. <laughs> and um, sometimes in the restaurant, you will see they say flan or creme brulee. Um, the difference is the flan, when you invert it on the plate, it's a soft caramel liquid. And the creme brulee has, um, you, they just put the sugar on it and they touch it. So it's very, you, that's way when you have the dessert, you just tap with your spoon and you get to eat yes, that. Nice crack. Yes, that's, an, that's the thing you need. I'm going to put that in the Okay. And then, we will move our table because when you use cold tea, so just a mixture of water and vinegar will help you um, to go with that. So that way we know that no one will get sick from what we just did. The candle has changed us. And like I said, we're going to do our caramel. It takes only, like I said, three or four minutes. Okay, you can just open that. And we're going to use our toasted grilled strawberry with it also. Good. Uh -huh. Okay, you're already 
going to take here to finish a recipe. I'm going to use that and say yes. <laughs> okay, we're going to use strawberry for our dessert. And um, to get back to our turkey, um, Kiki. Okay, la bafe, this is, you want to show them to the camera, so yeah. This is, yes, this is what we call la bafe. <laughs> Wait, wait, I always wanted to do this. You can talk, you have to talk as I present. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very good, you did well. You no, did you well. have to tell them about what okay. like, you okay. can have me present. And this thing also, um, you can find chestnut. Chestnut has a um, very good flavor also, I love it. Sometimes better than la babe, but it's like the cousin of la babe. And la babe, I, in English, you're going to find it on the name breadfruit nuts. So it's that. So we're going to use eggs in our recipe. The sugar is melting. So we only going to use the sugar from the caramel because the sweet condensed milk uh, is very sweet. Oh, I used to steal it from her. Every time she makes one, she would have to make extra and, she knew. and it's the base also for cremas. Mm -hmm. Would you but, like the Haitian version of eggnog? Uh, eggnog, exactly. So we're going to add a pinch of salt to our eggs because every dessert, even if it's sweet, you're supposed to add a pinch of salt to enhance the whatever flavor you will have on it. And we're going to use the lime again, but it's going to be the zest of the lime. We're going to pour our milk. It's one can of milk, like 14 ounces or 12 ounces to one can of sweet condensed milk. So you see um, the condensed milk also is very thick. And unfortunately people, I'm gonna have to leave here because of what things. Yes, there you can. Going to grill the strawberry. Bye, y'all. Save me some flan. Oh, yeah, you will have some. And I don't know if I remember to tell you that our turkey will cook for three hours and something. And that will be the result. We cook one before so you guys can see really what is all about. We're going to put our eggs. I'm sorry. And what we do, we use ramkin. The same ramkin, they can go in the, in the oven. And the way to cook it also, it's very good I want to do. Going to have a pan that the ramkin can go inside. We're going to boil some water, put in the pan, and have the ramkin in it. And they will cook for like, one hour. So it's a recipe also that you can do one day in advance or two day in advance. And it's a nice addition when you have all your pumpkin pie and you can have the flan and they were made in the same century. So it's very good. It's a dessert that kids love and adults too.
I know the time is running, but going to grill our strawberry. I don't know if you can hear the sound. We're grilling it in a little bit of butter first and with the almond and some brown sugar. So it's like we're putting a glaze on the strawberry. Just for one minute, and we're going to put, we put our incense already, and when you're going to put it, it's good to use like a sieve, a fine sieve, so everything can go through. to show you. Like the turkey, we have our caramel ready. And we're going to plate it as well so you can see. So like I always say, when you make the recipe, tag me. I know two people sent me some pictures and they are very, very nice. And happy, and I'm happy that you love the recipes. And continue to follow Queen's College and everything that they do. That team, they are very, very good. And they know how to find things that will please you guys. Going to add our almond. And for pop of color, I will use some of my basil here. It's been nice to have you and don't be afraid to cook that turkey because now you know how to cook that turkey very well. I'm going to show you the dessert quiche I'm going to present it to you. And like always, maybe, I don't know if Duane will put the recipe in the comment, but we're going to make the picture and you will find the recipe soon in your inbox. Thank you, everybody, and hope to see you soon. And cook that turkey, okay? Thank you. <laughs> oh, sometimes also we put a uh, full full of warm in it, and it's very good. So thank you again. Have a nice Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time with your family. And thank you, thank you, and see you soon.